in a general sense like uh, who know a little bit of ayurveda like um, ayurveda medical store owners or who sell herbs etc they usually reverse the order i have seen at least in two three in, in instances they usually reverse the order of abhyanga and swedana they say that you know just warm the body up a little and then apply the oil this will be more useful rather than doing abhyanga first and then swedana see once we make swedana body starts pouring it out outward even though it is a track is open it will not ready to accept in so it is not all required in that fashion and that's the reason while we are making we don't make the person to feel heat first but we try to give him an oil and while applying oil just to make it comfortable little bit it will be warmed so that warmth oil present in the, on the surface skin surface and applied with an friction definitely it improves the blood circulation and helps in absorption so after that whatever it is they absorbed it needs to be further carried away to the different levels into the body for that we go for this vedana and in that process excessive things will be once again thrown out of the body because the pores will be open up and after that if you do little bit of ubatan or something like that or udartana then it will be helpful in cleaning the things and the excessive oil which is present on the skin surface will be removed so it is better to go with abhyanga first to the body then followed by uh, udvartana or even swedana then bath yeah al- always apply the oil so that the oil is naturally deep penetrating and then it melts the doshas and then extract the, all the toxins and doshas with swedana and udvartana etc uh, and a, a very interesting question has come uh, with respect to sneha udvartana etc uh, abhyanga first only then uh, udvartana or swedana because otherwise body is not accepting the oil but when the body is a bit cold as in case of winter or in cold places when body is a bit cold to start with then aren't the srotas uh, are a bit blocked and warming the body before the uh, applying oil is better than sir see very simple reason body may be cold in cold season if you make the oil warmer and apply it from the outside surface you are making it to the oil to enter and oil as a saraguna definitely try to enter in and it because of its little bit ushnata or the may we made hot it may gives rise open the tracks and it enters in but in case of swedana the later effect you observe if you are giving um, swedana first then even though you are putting a warm thing from outside but ultimately it makes the body to expel it out so body will start oozing in out in something which is coming from inside to outside then you cannot make the same thing because it's a one way traffic on those pores it cannot go in so it needs to be in the fashion first apply a warmer oil to the body then go for the abhyang swedana that is fermentation and then go for udvartana then go for snana that is the best method or the best protocol or the sequence which can be done we can also we also have like choices of oils like i mean if it is too cold probably not a good idea to use coconut oil or uh, which is cold rather we would, rather we would go with like sesame oil or mustard oil so choices of oil can also be based on the weather and sir definitely choices of oil can be based on the weather as well as the person's prakriti nature everything based on that we can select if a person is suffering from a uh, lot of uh, pain it is better to use mustard oil because it is ushna in nature penetrative and it also reduces the pain whereas if you want to have the lusciousness or the smoothness to the skin then it is better to use coconut oil and of course from where your uh, belongs to which part of the country or which part of the place where they are accustomed to what type of oils they are using definitely it has an influence based on not, uh, that criteria only we need to select the oils and of course when it is a disease condition we even take yamakasneha mixing of two oils and we use it